In this lesson, I will show you something really cool you could do with Outlook when you are sketching out an email, literally sketching out an email. So if you use OneNote a lot and you are used to writing notes and you have a Windows 10 tablet, then you might be able to use this technique with Outlook to also scribble out your emails, or you can also use it to annotate emails when you are responding or trying to call attention to a specific spot. It's especially helpful if you are exchanging graphics back and forth with a collaborator, as you'll see in just a bit. Now, if you wanna use this technique, you will need the PC version of Office 365, so the desktop installation on a PC. Beyond that, you can use a pen, a stylus, or a finger to do this. I have none of those things right now. Well, I've got fingers, but I can't do, I don't have a touch screen on this monitor, so why not show you using what I've got? I still can show you. So the first thing to do is to start a new email. So with a new email started, I have the options across the top of the ribbon here, message, insert, draw, options, format, text, and so on. And the thing I'm looking for is draw. So I go over to the draw tab, and if I just wanted to draw some text onto my email, I wanna choose this button right here, Drawing Canvas. So this inserts a drawing canvas. And then once you've done that, you select your pin, you select the pin weight, the pin color, and you get all the drop down options here which let you pick what you want to use in terms of your pin color, your thickness, effects if you want to. You can play around with that as you see fit. So once you make your selection, then you start drawing something like here, is my response. So obviously yours is gonna look a lot nicer because you're using your finger or a stylus or a pen and not your mouse. But that of course is the idea. If you uh, don't like what you have drawn, it's very easy to go back to the select button to let you select objects. You can select the canvas that you've just added, easily delete it, and then start all over again. Now, as I mentioned at the outset, this is a very effective technique that can be used if you are uh, dealing with a picture, some kind of graphic that you want to annotate or draw attention to, maybe a screen capture uh, that you've made and then you're, you're doing it for troubleshooting purposes, like what does this button mean, something like that. To do that or to show you what this might look like, I will insert a picture into this email. So to start adding your annotation, all you have to do is come back over to the Draw tab and select your pen or maybe a highlighter here. And then you can come into the picture itself and you can do something like this. Now what's also happened is that you see that it looks like the, uh, the bounding box around the image will also change. And what's happened here is that Outlook has put a drawing canvas into this email message that you are creating. So now if you go back and select, you can actually select the picture and the canvas independently of one another. So if I select the picture and delete it, notice that the canvas still remains still with the drawing that I made because that is really part of the canvas. So that can be maybe a little bit confusing, but once you kind of understand what you're looking at, then it's easy to uh, make exactly the annotations you want to and then make modifications if you need to. Unfortunately, however, this does not work with the OSX version. So if you're using that version, which I am here, you can see that uh, I can create my new email, but there is no draw option. There's no draw tab in this particular ribbon. And because of that, I won't be able to use this technique. So there it is, pretty cool technique for literally sketching out your emails using Microsoft Outlook.